Good evening, everyone. Hello, and welcome to my bathroom. Tonight, I wanted to do a very, very casual walkthrough. Ooh, very casual, because look at my face. <laughs> I wanted to walk you guys through my bathroom and show you all the things that I keep in my bathtub, show you a brief skim of what's in my skin cupboard and my other cupboards, and kind of just walk you through some of my favorite products that I have here and use and love and all that good stuff. And yeah, just show you the digs. I'm in a towel because I actually did just have a bath, and I'll show you guys what I use in my bath. And I actually just got out of bed and, ooh, excuse me, <laughs> and I also just got home from paying, paying, playing beach volleyball so my bathtub is currently filled with sand but you know I wanted to show it to you in the moment so here we are I'm gonna start with the bath welcome to my bathtub and welcome to my shower curtain a lot of you are questioning its existence but a lot of the times it's just pushed to the side so you can't see it but I do indeed have a shower curtain it took me a long time to get there but we are here oh and there's also this beautiful print of Vancouver British Columbia which I got at Parliament in Gastown so that print hangs above the toilet where the magic happens but let us start with the bathtub. So this is the bathtub. We have a uh, we have two sides of things. I would like to eventually get one of those nifty things that hangs and you can actually put all of your items in it, but until then, here we are. I'm going to start with this side. First, I've got the Fresh Brown Sugar Body Polish. It's absolutely lovely. I'm almost done it and it has been great. It's very nice and chunky and coarse and scrubs all the dead skin off. Then here I've got a loofah. And then here, this is actually the Loving Tan Tanny Exfoliating Scrub, which I love. I've used it so much that I have scrubbed a hole into it, so that should probably go. Um, I have two razors. I used to exclusively use the Venus razor, this one right here, but I recently went to Costco and found a giant pack of the Gillette Fusion refills for super cheap. So I've been using this, and I feel like because men typically have coarser hair, uh, aka me, <laughs> this is made for that, and it's great, and it gets a nice close shave, so I've been using these. And then here, I have the Fresh Sea Berry Shampoo and Conditioner. They're lovely. I use these on days when uh, my hair just really needs a drink. If it's feeling extra dry, I will use these, and they're beautiful. They smell delicious. And I love the packaging. So that's that side of the tub. On this side here, I actually have two giant liter size sizes of the Kevin Murphy. This is the Angel Wash Shampoo, and this is the Blonde Angel Conditioner. Um, I got this via my friend Armine, who is a hairstylist, and she kind of hooked me up with these bad boys. So that's what I've been using in my hair. They smell like old lady. It is not a pleasant smell, but they're really great for toning and keeping up that blonde. So that's what I've been using for coloring purposes. And because they're so big, they just have to live inside my tub. Here we've got two body things. This is the Fresh Citrus. Citron Divine bath and shower gel is lovely. It smells delicious. I love it so much. Use that as my body wash. And then this is the Kiehl's Creme de Color Smoothing Oil to Foam Body Cleanser. It's lovely. It makes your skin feel so smooth and soft. They gave this to us in Vietnam. And I use it whenever my skin is feeling extra, extra needing of soothing. And it's lovely. So that lives there. And then on the side, I have another fresh body wash which I'm almost out of. This is the Sugar Lemon. I think out of the two, my favorite scent is the Sugar Lemon. Love it. I've used it up. And then this is De Juan's Nivea for Men. Cool Kick 24 Hour Fresh Effect Shower Gel. Great. And that, my friends, is the tub. That is what exists in here. Let us move right along to this side. And me in my towel. <laughs> On the left side, these little shelves here, I keep all of my perfumes. I have a bunch, but I really only use three of them, and those are these two, Black Opium. This is my, I think this is my third bottle of Black Opium in the last year and a half. I'm obsessed with it, it's my favorite scent, but more recently, the replica by the fireplace. I thought that this would only be a winter scent, but it turns out it's an everyday scent. I love it so much, I kind of just go between these two depending on what I'm feeling. If I want something more fresh and fruity, I'll wear this. If I want something more warm, I'll wear this. I wear the two all the time. And then this is one that I spray on when I'm going to the gym or if I'm going, you know, to the beach or something and I don't want to use those ones. This is a very, very fresh citrusy scent from Nest, the Citrine. So those are the three that I use. I have a backup of my black opium. The rest of them just kind of chill there unused. I have my travel out here for when I travel. Uh, yeah. 
So that's the perfume stash. I've got a random candle here that um, I don't know why because I'd never light a candle under the shelf, but as you do. Cotton pads here, dental floss. This is the mint coated floss, so really get in there. Uh, these are toothbrushes, and this is my toothpaste, my favorite. Oops. The Colgate white, and it's the paste version, not the sparkly. That's my favorite. Over here we've got a fresh hand soap and this cute little astrology soap holder tray that they sent. Very, very cute, fresh. Thank you always for that. Got an Aesop hand lotion here. Uh, tissue because I'm allergic to my cat and I'm constantly blowing my nose. And this is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Micellar Cleansing Wipes. I've been using these to remove my makeup lately, and they don't actually like sit nicely in the cupboard, so I just have them sitting here. I'm about halfway through the pack. They're really nice, um, and they don't disturb my sensitive skin, so. I'm gonna start on this side of the cupboard. This is kind of where I keep all of my body-related things and also backups or things that I have yet to try. So I'll start on this shelf here. Um, I have a fresh Citron Divine body lotion. I've got my birth control pill because I don't want babies. This is Dan's Mitchum perfume. He says it smells like yellow curry, <laughs> which it does. It actually smells like curry. It's so funny. I'm amazed he's still using it. But I have the Mitchum Women. This is the Pure Fresh, and this is my go-to deodorant. Love it. And then I also have the Fresh Sugar ultra nourishing body oil in here, which I just showed in my recent favorites. Love that a lot. So that's the first shelf. Second shelf here, I've got my eye patches, Peter Thomas Roth cucumber eye gels. They're amazing. And then also these patchology ones. Love those too. Use them both. I have the Natasha Denona body glow, a backup of the Caudalie beauty elixir, and then my May Lindstrom, the clean dirt cleansing clay. I've never really gotten into this. I should probably pull that out before it goes bad, but this is kind of a random shelf but then this next shelf is the shelf i actually use these are my current body lotions that i'm using and i have it up here just because this one's super tall and it doesn't fit down here um but this is the bioderma atoderm intensive balm this is the body lotion i'm currently using as well as the fresh sugar lemon body lotion i kind of use this when i need help with dryness and then i use this when i want to smell good and then there's also this lotion is another smell good one. Um, this is the L'Occitane Amande. Delightful body balm and I can tell you that it is indeed delightful to use. So, Because I'm just going to show you guys right when I get out of the shower, which is happening right now, and I don't immediately lotion, all of my skin immediately starts peeling off. Like I have the driest skin on the planet. So actually right now while we're in this uh, cupboard, I'm gonna lotion my body. Bioderma, Atoderm. Oh, it's starting to make a sound. It's really dying, it's running out. It's so sad, it's such a good lotion. I need to go pick that up tomorrow. Don't forget the butt. So now this too is also going to live sideways on my cupboard until it's used up. <laughs> there we go. Well, now I'll move that there. And on the top shelf, I kind of just have some backups of things like my fresh soy exfoliant and the pharmacy honey savior. And then I have a few things from Ren and a lotion from Fresh that I've just never used. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Eh. Uh, yeah, those just kind of live there until I will uh, use them eventually. And this is the big cupboard, the big bad boy, the mothership of skincare. These are all of my products, um, including medicines and random extra soapity soaps. But I'll kind of give you guys a brief walkthrough because not much has changed since I talked about my skincare last. So starting on the bottom, uh, this is my Bioderma. I know a lot of you guys commented on this being open, so just for those of you who had a problema with that, I have closed it there for you. Nail clippers, I usually keep tweezers there as well. Totally grape water, love it so much. Matter of fact, hmm. I could go for a spritz of that right now. Pat my beard down. <laughs> Rose toner, I've never used this, um, but I plan to eventually. I really love the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha. I often forget to use it, but when I do, I really love it. It feels super good on the skin. It's antioxidants and, and pollution protectant and all that goodness. The Fresh Soy Face Exfoliant, my favorite exfoliator of all times, as you guys saw. I do have a backup of it when I use this one up. It's the best. I have this Charlotte Tilbury product that I actually purchased back when I was in London and I met up with Anna and she had a fresh tan on and I was like, homie, what's on your face? She was like, oh, this overnight bronze and glow mask. And I went out and bought it immediately at the Space and K while you're we there. And I have never tried it. I need to try it. I always forget. Let me know if you guys have used this and love it. I need to use it. That's why I actually put it here so that I could have a reminder to myself to use that. Moving on, I've got three <laughs> fresh soy 
enjoy face cleansers on the go for various reasons. One, because I had given one to Dan and he now basically resides here. So he brought his cleanser over. So those were those two. And then they gave us the limited edition packaging, which we actually opened to take photos with while we were in New York. And I didn't want to leave it at the hotel room. So I brought it because it's so beautiful and I use this cleanser religiously and then the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask, one of the best night creams out there. This is Dan's uh, hair putty, hair gel, his Kevin Murphy Night Rider, so that just sits there. You put that there, it fits, so that's fine. Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm, love. And then the second shelf, there's a lot of products here that I don't use. Um, I'm not going to walk through everything. I'll kind of show you guys what I do use. Right now, out of all my oils and things, I'm only using the May Lindstrom, the Youth Do. I use this at night. Every once in a while when I'm feeling extra dry or my skin's feeling extra stress, the Creme Ancienne from Fresh. This is currently my favorite night cream. I've been using this at night, soaking my face in it, and sometimes during the day when I'm feeling a little bit more lackluster. And then for a day cream, most of the time I've been switching between these, either the Fresh Rose Face Cream or the Indeed Labs 10 Balm, kind of whatever I'm feeling. I'm just, I'm not really particular. I'll just kind of grab whichever one I feel and use that as a face cream. And then I have the Fresh Creme Ancient Supreme Eye Serum, which I keep forgetting to use because I'm lazy. But that's the eye cream that I currently have, so there we go. Pharmacy Honey Savior. These two products from Allies of Skin, I have not used them enough to give you an opinion on them, but I eventually will. Hopefully, the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. It's almost done. Have a backup. Love it. This next shelf, here I kind of have all my washing products. I have my MAC brush cleanser for when I want to do a quick clean and I need my brushes to dry instantly. And I also use this Innate Life Herbal Shampoo. This one was weird. It kind of got stuck in my hair when I used it on myself. So I now use it when I want to do a deep clean of my brushes. And then I have my Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid here. Clarins masks. There's a lot of fresh masks here. We have one. My Pharmacy Honey Potion. I love. I have these two Ren masks, which I haven't actually tried yet. Let me know how you guys feel about these if you have tried them. My skin's been freaking out a little bit, uh, which is why I've been hesitant to try any new products, but uh, the Fresh Umbrian Clay Mask, almost done that one. Love it. Cremantian Honey Mask, beautiful for moisturizing. The Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask, I bought this one a long time ago, like when I still lived in Calgary. Um, I haven't used it in a long time. I kind of forget what it feels like, but Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Quick 5-Minute Mask, it's beautiful. Fresh Sugar Polish, another great face exfoliator. I definitely prefer my soy one, but this one feels really nice for every once in a while. This Lancome mask I haven't tried yet. Fresh Rose Face Mask, one of my favorites. The Figuniero Clay Mask is amazing. The May Lindstrom, the Problem Solver, another one of my favorites. And then this Kiehl's one, the Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Mask. This was the one they released while we were in Vietnam with them. I haven't used it too much, but again, I've kind of been having a skin freak out, so I've been trying to avoid introducing any new products. So I'll give you guys a final thought on that at a later date. And then up here, I just have like random vitamins and whatnot. I don't really want any doctors attacking me, so I'm not gonna talk through what I take. That's a personal thing. I've got Advil, Pepto-Bismol, because I have pooping problems. <laughs> There's Claritin at the back, more Advil, a backup of a fresh soap, and then some random brushes and things that I don't really use, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Uh, yeah, but that is the kind of brief overview of my skincare cupboard. So then within these drawers, I'm not gonna go through all of them. In this one here, I've got all of my like hair tools and hair brushes. I've got my straightener, curling iron, some backups of my cotton pads. This drawer here, I've got some backups of hair stuff, like some backup Batiste. Actually, I'm out of that. I need to put that here. I'll get there in a minute, but more backups of pads, some hair stuff I haven't tried, just kind of anything hair related I put in here. In this drawer over here, it's super random. Backup deodorant, nail polish that I never use because I only get shellac. I never paint my nails. Uh, nail polish remover, all of my Loving Tan two-hour deluxe bronzing mousses, which I haven't used in so long. I've been actually having a natural tan. All of the backups of the Gillette Fusion razors. I got some teeth whitening thingies. They are just like the no-name brand that are sold at Shoppers Drug Mart. Q-tips, aromatherapy associates, oils. That's that drawer. And then this next drawer is my particular favorite. I've got vagina wipes. <laughs> if you guys have never used vacuum wipes and you want freshness while you have your periodo, these are amazing. Love the Summer's Eve ones. These are a bunch of random face masks, um, sheet masks. Uh, most of them I've never tried and they just keep collecting here. More, more of the Hoon Wipes, the Life Brand Cleansing Cloths. These are some coffee scrubs from Frank Body. 
body wash. Then I have kind of more bath stuff, so I keep, actually, I have a fresh black tea body cream, which I haven't used yet, but these two things I use a lot. This is the Fresh Saki bath. I use that every time I have a bath. It smells unreal and makes your skin feel so good. And then I'll often put a cube of this. This is the Fresh Sugar Lemon Sugar Bath. These cubes are amazing. I've gone through half of the container already. It's beautiful. And then these are other products that I've just never tried. That's a lie. This one here, the Kiehl's Creme de Corps Body Lotion. Um, yeah, but those ones I, I, are products that I haven't visited. Then over here, this little creeper corner down here, this is where I keep all of the hair products that I'm currently using. Yes, I'm gonna sit on my rug and discuss these with you briefly. Uh, this is kind of what's currently going on, Batiste Dry Shampoo. I use this every time I do my hair, the Dry Bar Hot Toddy Heat Protectant. Um, this one here, I don't know how I feel about the Whey Memory Mist. I feel like it doesn't do anything, so I don't know why that's there. I'm actually just going to put that there. Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. Love. I've recently been trying this one. This is the Kevin Murphy Bedroom Hair. Beautiful texturizing spray. Very light. The Whey Hair Oil. My most used oil. I've already gone through one, and this is the backup. I've got the Axis Trash Texturizing Cream. Absolutely love this. It's lovely. This is a Kerastaz hair serum. Armine hooked me up with this one and I use it a lot. Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Hairspray. I haven't used this in a long time, but I used to use it religiously. I should probably revisit that. But you spray it in your hair when it's wet and it feels good. Um, and the Way Wave Spray. I've only used this once and it literally gave me an afro, so I'll have to figure out how this one works and get back to you guys. But that's what's in my current hair box of wonders. I also have these little clips that I use to clip up my hair when I'm doing it. And then these are random products that I have yet to try, except the Way Texturizing Hairspray. This was a backup that they sent me, which was super awesome. Um, I have that chill in there. Some purple shampoos in here that I haven't tried. Um, this Matrix hairspray. These are just These are just to try. And they didn't fit in the backup drawer, so they just sit there. <laughs> and then finally, this is a funny one. I already had a plunger, and then my mom got me this one. It's the poop emoji. <laughs> oh, this was one of the uh, housewarming gifts my mom got me. That's awesome. It's so cute, mama. You're always with me when I poop. Thank you for that. <laughs> So that, my friends, is everything that exists in my bathroom. This was a really quick talking blab through of everything that I'm currently using on all parts of my body and, and limbs and orifices and all that. So I hope that you guys enjoy seeing what's in my bathroom, the throne room, if you will. <laughs> Those are all the products that I'm currently using. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Everyday May video, and I will see you all in another one at a later date. Thanks for watching. Bye!